there is another argument. There are two arguments presented by the opposition. Argument one, nothing has happened in India. There has been no improvement. We are worse. The GDP per capita may have doubled, but we are worse. We may be a major defense exporter, but we are worse. We may be the third largest economy, but we are worse because the Vadra Gandhi family is worse. Argument number two, yes, we are much better, but you can't credit Narendra Modi for it. Whether Suhail Seth, Narendra Modi, Nikhil or XYZ were at the steering wheel, we would have been great anyway. Stop crediting Modi. These are the two arguments I'm presenting tonight. And I want Suhail Seth to open in his innings on his favorite subject of brand Modi. Brand Modi, is it relevant? Is that the centerpiece of this campaign? Suhail. So let's imagine everything that everyone is saying is true, that Modi has delivered nothing that the country is not grateful and shouldn't be. And the Gandhis have delivered. We've been a great country yeah. and we are a great country, regardless of who leads us. Does brand Modi as a brand exist? The answer is yes. I mean, you have to be daft or outrightly stupid to believe that there's no brand Modi. You may hate the brand, you may love the brand, but the brand exists. Number one. Number two, for a lot of people, the brand does provide a benefit. Otherwise, he wouldn't have won two elections. You win elections because people vote for you. You don't win elections because someone in Greenland or Fiji is voting for you. So obviously people are voting for him. They believe that he provides certain value. Two gentlemen or three of us here on the panel may or may not believe we don't matter because this is a democracy. The third, brands stand for things. Brands don't oscillate. Brands seek validation. Brands seek consistency. Brands are focused. Is Rahul Gandhi a brand? Of course he's a brand. But he's not a brand that is attractive to more people than M Modi as a brand. As simple. Others, Rahul Gandhi would be prime minister. Actually, he may not because he may choose to decline even that. Now, the reality is that Rahul Gandhi started a Bharat Jodo Yatra after which I said publicly, nationally, on television and in print that he has been able to recalibrate his own brand persona. Because I thought that it was going in a particular manner. But thereafter, from one issue to the other, from one cause to the other. And you know what the biggest problem is? It's not whether you hate Modi. It's almost William Shakespeare-like. You know, when Brutus was asked by Mark Antony, why did you stab Caesar? He says, it's not that I loved Caesar less, but I loved Rome more. So I don't know whether it is the hatred for Modi that makes a lot of people say nasty things about the country or the nation called India. The final point in my opening remarks is, that no matter what you say, Modi has been able to galvanize a lot of people to remain in charcha, parcha, and kharcha. Brands are always in the currency of engagement. That is the essence of a great brand. Brands seek not only buying power from consumers, they seek engagement. Why do you think we, we have a thing where brands are repositioned? Brands are repositioned because Brands believe that the consumer has either moved on or they need to evolve, which Modi is doing. The fact that I didn't even know, I was not following Twitter or that, you know, Modi's met gamers today or Modi's met this particular group of people or he's met unicorns or he's met startup people. The man is making an effort. Hate the man, you hate his policies, but you cannot take away two things from Narendra Modi. Number one, consistency. And number two, focus. These are the hallmarks of any great brand. Brands don't swerve. They don't waver. I don't know if you yeah. guys were even born then. I'm sure Arnab was. Oh, yeah. You know, they tried to create a brand called the New Coke many, many, many years ago, which bombed terribly. Books have been written on that because they thought that they would reinvent the wheel. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. What you need to do is you need to re-grease, recalibrate, and then... In, imagine that you will continue the engagement between the consumer, in this case, the voter and the brand. So I'm not suggesting for a moment that brand Modi is the next best thing after sliced bread, but he is a viable, strong, engaging brand in this country. And what is even more important is that he's an we engaging are, are having brand a really, outside this country. Really, really simple.